Taurus, welcome to your mid-monthly reading for March. I am Charlene Lizette. If you're new here, hey, how's it going? If you're returning a massive thank you to you. Either way, I hope you click subscribe and become a part of our community. All right, I don't know if some of you have been having a backache. I don't know if you noticed, I just was like, whoa, twitching, twitching. So if your back's been bothering you, go get a massage, go stretch out. Okay, go crack your neck or whatever. All right, Taurus, let's see what's happening mid-month for March. So it's mid-month to the end of the month, okay? So we have the nine, the eight, the strength, the ace. Ooh, I'm gonna take that. Wow, the high priest and the emperor. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Everything is fine. Fab yeah, oh man. Yeah, after, um, wow, wow, wow. okay, let's get the rest of the cards before we dive into this reading, all right? Got you an extra card here, Taurus. That's okay, some things that happens, no big deal. Perseverance, I know that I can set whatever my, my, what? I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to do. And Vertex, karmic points, mystery, faded connection. I think some of you might be falling in love. Okay, even if you don't fall in love, you might be meeting somebody that may give you those heart eyeballs, you know, where you're like, dun, 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 dun. okay, from mid-March to end of March. We have the Nine of Pentacles, so you're starting off showing up very independent, very financially well off, somebody who has their shit together, somebody who doesn't really need to depend or rely on other people. You just do you. You're very comfortable in your own finances. You've worked really hard for your abundance. You're walking away from, I think, things that don't look, don't serve you. I think you're persevering through life. I think that there's a lot of emotional damage or suffering that you have gone through or pain that you have gone through, Taurus. And you're in this period right now in your life where you're recognizing that you got to be able to walk away and continue on in your journey to attract all the things that you desire. All right. And then with the strength card, there's that resilience, right? That courage, that bravery, that determination, uh, setting your mind to whatever you can do. Okay. With that vertex and that karmic point sinistry faded connections it's like you're you're persevering on in your life i don't even think you're looking for love i don't even know that you're out in this world uh wondering like where is love for me i think you're just focused on yourself on your own success on your own abundance on your own life and what happens when you do that dear doris else hot new passion that love comes into your life somebody strikes a match and it's love is everywhere Okay, yeah, it could, this could be a, 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 a Pisces Aries blend, okay, they could have heavy Piscean Aries, um, they could also just be highly psychic, okay, you might be part of the LGBTQ community as well. With this person, it could be like a situation where one is a fuller figured and one is thinner, okay, either way, this is a beautiful match for me because when I see this, because it's the intuition and the business acumen coming together and it just, it's solid. And look at this beautiful offer, like, ha, 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 all right? Here it is, after everything is fine, you've been out in the cold for so long, look, and finally victory is yours, all right? Herophon, stability, there you are, okay? There is this offer, celebration, the balancing, oh, just so nice. And even when we look at the vertex, the karmic point, uh, this is faded connections. These um, asteroids in the stars are, oh my God, these uh, asteroids, these points in, in your life um, are, are faded. Like you can't stop this. This is, a, this is a faded connection of two people meeting right when they're supposed to meet. And it's just going to be, it's just going to be so beautiful. Beautiful. All right. Let's see if we see more about this love life in the um, love reading. I think career wise, mid month, eh, you're really just focused on your abundance. You're very grounded. Okay. And general overall energy is moving on. Perseverance, determination. Okay. Um, I think you're not even paying attention to love, and love just is like, hey. All right. Uh, if you like using crystals to help manifest this energy or align with this energy, if you've been wanting to manifest love, I would totally recommend anything from my jewelry line that has rose quartz. This is Starcy Jewels. I create modern day amulets to help you connect with the different frequencies of the universe. I would say pieces like, well, I'm wearing Venus here. You're ruled by Venus Taurus, so a perfect piece for that. Okay. It's Morganite Barrel and Rose Quartz. Um, I have these pendants. Oh, right here. 
look at that. This beautiful, either um, the, Amaz uh, the Amazonite, which is called Amphrotite, or the Rose Gold, or the Rose Quartz, which is called Hebe. They come in either sterling silver or 14 karat gold, okay? So you can take a look at the description box if you want to shop over at Star Sea Jewels and support my jewelry line. I make all the pieces here. I've designed them all and my assistant helps make some of the pieces and ships them out as well. All right, so it's all supporting a local small business right here in my room, which is my office, okay? Love yourself first showing up here. Yeah, definitely rose quartz is a theme for you mid-month to the end of the month. Chemistry, what did I say to you? This Ace of Wands, I'm telling you, both of you are gonna look at each other and it's gonna be like, ha ha ha. You're not gonna be able to, you're not gonna be able to help yourself. This could be the one. This could be the one. Separation. Maybe you've broken up with someone very soon. Yeah, maybe for some of you, you've been away from somebody that you love and you're finally coming back together with them. But this mostly feels like a new person. This could even feel like when you meet them that you've known them before. Six of Pentacles, love yourself first. There it is, that luxury. Wow, and the tower beside it. You need to love yourself, okay? When I say that, I talk about connecting to the divine energy that exists within all of us, whether it's masculine or feminine, okay? Think about um, self-love, pleasure, sensuality, luxury, okay? Taurus loves to be able to like look at beautiful things, eat delicious foods, okay? All that kind of stuff, all right? Um, and like self-pleasure, big time, all right? What's this chemistry? Uh, page, page of Cups, Six of Cups, and the King of Wands. There's that Aries energy again. Yeah, this could come as a random message. And you, honestly, when you meet them, you're going to feel like you've known them before. They could be younger um, for some of you. And look at this. Two of you loving each other there. Three of Wands, and this could be the one. You could even meet them at a distance. So I don't know if some of you are traveling or moving, but that could be how some of you meet as well. Wow, Taurus. I love getting love readings. Okay. Um, Taurus, if you want to shop over at Star Sea Jewels, take a look at the description box below. If you've been interested in becoming a professional tarot reader and starting your own tarot business, take a look at the description box below. I am offering live interactive tarot courses. They're happening at the end of every couple of months, and there's one happening at the end of March. It's a two-day live interactive course course I meet you you meet me we work on zoom together and afterwards uh, you'll be ready to start your own tarot business or read tarot for yourself and your friends okay we'll see you later alligator thank you so much for all your support peace out bye